Hello and welcome to the 2017 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. My name is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com. The stereotypical image of your average radiologist is a doctor that's ensconced in some dark room in the basement at a hospital somewhere looking over images on a computer monitor, but we're starting to find out that that's not really a very accurate image and that radiologists want and probably should be getting more involved in seeing patients and, and taking care of patients. Uh, we have with us Dr. Jennifer Kemp. She's with Diversified Radiology of Denver, Colorado. She's a practicing radiologist. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having now, me. You, you recently um, wrote a paper on, on this very topic and you found some pretty interesting things. Um, what, what can you tell us about that? Sure. So I did a survey with the RSNA and several other co-investigators where we surveyed radiologists and asked about their current thinking about patient-centered care. What do they believe in? What, How are they practicing? And what are the barriers to achieving patient-centered radiology? And we interestingly found out that the far majority of radiologists believe that being more patient-centered is important. But the, the catch of it is that, unfortunately, the minority of radiologists are practicing in a way that they consider to be patient-centered. And the main barrier to that, of course, is time and workload. So our study, was we were happy to find out that most radiologists really are interested in being more patient-centered, but we need to look at ways that we can achieve that because clearly radiologists are not finding ways to implement that yet in their current practices. Now you you um, you found some pretty specific issues that were going on with radiologists that prevented them from going out and talking to patients and when we, when we talk about these things we're, are we talking about things like um, having face-to-face -face contact with patients, giving them results, talking about results, things like that? Well our study was really more about face-to-face um, -face communication between radiologists and patients, but one thing that we really want to stress about being more patient-centered is that that does not only include face-to-face -face communication. To be patient-centered can really we need to consider the entire continuum of the patient's care when they're in our department. So there are so many different facets to that, to when they're scheduling their appointment, to checking in, to having the right test for them, to the radiologist's report. How actionable is it? What's the wording? Are, are we clear and concise? Do we have follow-up recommendations? Is the radiologist available for consultation with the patient? and or the referring physician. So there are so many things in addition to just face-to-face -face patient communication. Okay. What were some of the barriers that were listed in your survey that prevented uh, being closer to patients? Mm -hmm. So the main barrier, again, was time and workload. We've been talking for years now about Value, value over volume, but we're just not quite there yet. We're still in the mindset of volume, volume, volume. So number one really is time. But there were also concerns about compensation, about referring physicians' um, expectations, or maybe referring physicians wouldn't want us to talk to patients. Those were some of the other barriers that we looked at. Yeah. Because, I mean, radiologists are getting paid based on the number of studies they read, not by how many patients they talk to, right? That, that is true, but actually one of the lectures that I just went to, one of the speakers was Dr. Andrew Rosencrantz from NYU, and one of the things that he mentioned is our current a RVU payment structure includes communication with patients. So that is already embedded in our RVU structure to some degree. Okay. Are there things that, that uh, your paper recommended that are things that, that can be done to address this issue. I, I saw some things in there, such as uh, putting reading rooms in clinical areas, as opposed to you know down in the basement. Right. So I think there are a multitude of things that we can do to make this better. There's kind of the utopia of radiology, where people have radiology consultation clinics, or certain radiologists will say, "I meet with every single patient after the." Ex their exam. That's the utopia in my mind. I think the more feasible thing is smaller steps and like you mentioned embedding the reading room into clinics or putting your contact information at the bottom of a report. 
it seems like we can't open a journal these days without hearing about social media and the effects that can have. And that's an inexpensive way that doesn't take a lot of time that can reach a large, large number of patients through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So those are avenues that are more feasible and are we can keep our maintain our revenue, maintain our RVUs, and still reach out and communicate to patients. Good. Some great ideas. Anything else you'd like to add? No, thank you so much for having me. Sure. Thanks for being with us. Signing off for AntMindy.com, my name is Brian Casey.